Breaking news, my wonderful people. President Bola Tinibo has cautioned the National Assembly, telling them to stop distracting his ministers with plenty, plenty summons. Because he's not comfortable with this development. He should allow them to do their jobs. So Tinibu has cautioned and sent a strong warning to the National Assembly members. Guys, this is interesting. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Now, President Bola Tinibu recently appealed to the members of the National Assembly to exercise restraint in summoning heads of ministries, departments, and agencies before parliamentary committees. Speaking at the breaking of the Ramadan feast fast on Wednesday in Abuja with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, and the House leadership, the President said, while oversight is essential for maintaining transparency and accountability in governance, excessive summoning of officials can disrupt operations and hinder service delivery to the citizens. And he's not happy with this development, so he has urged the National Assembly to allow heads of ministries, departments and agencies to do their statutory duties by reducing the summons issued to them. Tinibu made this statement uh, on Wednesday by uh, through his special advisor uh, on to the president on media and publicity at jury, where the president appealed to uh, the National Assembly members on this very issue. Now, Tinibu said he has been watching various committees, summoning the ministers, the head of agencies, and at this point, he has noted that they should let the ministers, his ministers to do their jobs. They should let them breathe because this is distraction. Yes, you are saying you want to do your primary duty by, you know, summoning them, but at this point, they are being distracted. They are being disturbed. So they should find a way to balance this so as not to cause distraction to his ministers. But then Tinibu expressed confidence in the National Assembly's uh, ability to sustain a good governance and also praise the executive and the legislative branch's current amicable relationship. He claimed that a good working relationship has resulted in the swift passage of various measures aimed at improving Nigerians' well-being. But then he advised the lawmakers not to forget about their people and also to use the holy month of the Ramadan to express compassion and also support for the less fortunate in the society because they have to keep their faith they must remember their people and what they are currently going through but for now tinibu has cautioned the lawmakers to be very very discreet in running their oversight uh, functions so as not to distract his ministers from doing their jobs because too much uh, summoning will lead to distraction and it is more like a disturbance. So he's not pleased with this development. I mean, there should be a shift parliamentary sitting, you know, to accommodate each other so that they won't have clashes. So at this point, Tinibu has noted that this is what he wants and there's no going back on this. So guys, what are your thoughts on this issue? I mean, a lot of people will see this as a threat that Tinibu is threatening the National Assembly not to summon uh, his ministers occasionally, not to summon them frequently. But then, uh, Tinibu has given his statement and in his own interest, he has, you know, uh, looked at the way it is and also noted how this is distracting his ministers, pleaded with the National Assembly members, the lawmakers, to you know, make this scheduled so it won't clash with the minister's duties and what they ought to do because this someone will definitely cause uh, a distraction. So my country people, this is it. A lot of people are commenting that, yes, Tinibu should let them do their jobs, that it is the, it is the job of the lawmakers to, uh, to checkmate these ministers. But then, why is Tinibu trying to uh, force them not to do their jobs? He is the president. 
and his statement is more like the law. So Tinibu is the president of this country and everything he says stand. And I'm sure the lawmakers, they won't have a problem with this because, I mean, the executive has spoken, the executive arm of government has spoken, the president has spoken, and that is final. But let's not forget that, you know, these guys serve as checks and balances. And I think the problem we have in this country is corruption. I mean, I see nothing wrong in the lawmakers summoning the ministers where they've seen that they've gone wrong, summoning them to caution them. I don't see anything wrong in that. But the president, you know, making this appeal to them, then I guess something must have gone wrong in between. I guess the summons are huge and it is distracting the ministers. So Tinibu has issued this warning to the to allow the uh, heads of the ministries, the agencies to do their jobs, you know, too much summoning of these ministers, it leads to distraction and he's not comfortable with this development. So my country people, Nigerians have reacted. May God continue to bless Ashweju Bola and Med Tinibu. Don't mind them, Mr. President. They are nothing but hypocrites. They've brought SUV cars at the expenses of the masses, executives who are doing their best to turn around the economy. Those jobless retired homes of the former governors are hell-bent on distracting them. Okay, God will judge every one of you accordingly. May God continue to strengthen you, President Tinibu. Well, that was what Buhari allowed them to do allowing them to do their job without query or looking over them and they overran and sack the common world what can we say okay guys these are reactions from nigerians but let's not forget that tinibu also expressed his you know his commitments in making sure that these guys these lawmakers are to show compassion and to support the less privileged in the society so far so good the house of uh as the house of assembly uh the house of uh that's the lawmakers i beg your pardon have been very supportive of the president and his policies they've been very very supportive that's the national assembly i beg your pardon so my country people i'm dropping here kindly share your thoughts on this in the comment section thank you